if we think a little, we can extend our times tables to situations beyond those that we've just learned. If we were faced with having to do 4 times 60, we can either panic and say, help, I don't know the 60 times table, or we can use our brains and think a little and notice that what is 60? If we think about it, 60 is just made up of 6 times by 10. And so we can use our 6 times table. We can say if we need to do 4 times 60, we can just say 4 multiplied by 6 and then multiply that by 10. 4 times 6 is 24 and 24 multiplied by 10 is 240. So knowing our 6 times table with a little bit of thought means we can do our 60 times table too. Similarly, if we're faced with 4 times 18, we could panic and say we don't know our 18's 18 times table. Or we could think and say, look, I know that 18 is just 9 times 2. So if I need to calculate 4 times 18, I can do 4 multiplied by 9 and then multiply that by 2, which is quite easy. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 times 2, well, that's just 30, 36 plus 36, which is 72. Okay, you try this one. 3 times 800. You don't know your 800 times table, but what can you do? Pause the video and try. Okay, did you do 3 multiplied by 8 and then multiplied by 100? 3 times 8, you know well by now, is 24. And that multiplied by 100 will get you to 2,400. And what about our last one? If you're faced with 3 times 16, you don't have to panic. What can you do? Pause the video and tell us what you think. Did you do this? 3 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 2, because 8 times 2 is just 16. So 3 times 8, you know well, that is 24. And 24 times 2 is equal to 48. So 3 times 16 gets us to 48. So think of little tricks like that as to how you can fall back on the times tables you do know when you're faced with multiplication that you don't know.